Welcome to the first episode of how to become a pro at Demolock. In this series I will explain everything I've learned and know about Demolock. And I'm not a pro, okay? Uh, I can show you my arena ratings and my battleground rating. And as you can see, I am like an average player. But I have learned a few things and I've dueled a lot of other Demolocks. And I have to say that most Demolocks suck. They don't know how to play. So I want to help those guys and... You know, give a guide how to become good at demonolo demonology lock. Also, uh, if you see here, my achievements, uh, statistics, player versus player, uh, player arena. I've just started serious, um, serious PvPing this season, okay? And already I have 2,500 games played in arena. Um, most of them 2v2, of course. And I learned a lot from that. So I want to share that with you. So today, the first episode, I'm going to explain you the standard build I use for arena or just for random battlegrounds. Um, probably it's a bit different for random battleground. But this is like the common spec to use. Um, okay. So you use dark regeneration. That's that, that actually never changed. You always use dark regeneration. Mortal coil, uh, coil I do use for two v two. But as soon as you go on higher, ta uh, more targets, I mean, so 3v3 or 5 versus 5 or um, uh, battlegrounds, rated battlegrounds, you should use Shadow Fury or Howl of Terror. Now, Mortal Coil doesn't share any cooldown or whatever uh, with um, any other class except the Psychic Scream from Priest. So if you're playing with a Warrior, for example, this in 2s or maybe even in 3s, this is really good to take. However, uh, if there's no warrior and there is more more than two targets, then go Shadow Fury. But Shadow Fury will DR with stuns from rogues, stuns from any class, basically. So it's not smart to use this one in arena um, when you your other teammate also has stuns. Okay, so then use either this one or this one. But I prefer Mortal Coil for the heal. Now I use Sacrificial Pact, not Dark Bargain, because the the damage you get afterwards from Dark Bargain, the debuff, is such a pain in the ass if you play double DPS, uh, which I do a lot. Uh, and this rating that I got here is also a uh, double DPS rating. I never play with the healer because I think it's boring. Anyways, so Sacrificial Pact, it's every one minute and it, uh, if you have your uh, Rev Guard up, it will give you a shield of 270k. It's a pretty big shield every one minute, so it's 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 like definitely an advisable thing to do. Uh, Unbound will because if you really want to land off a kill and you're just CC'd just in your burst or you know whenever someone is at low percent HP, use Unbound will get out of stun or something and kill him. Okay, it's really important. Although it costs 20% max maximum health. Gl uh, Grimmer of Supremacy because the pet does nice damage but most of all it gives a debuff which you can see here Mortal Cleave uh, so that the effectiveness, effectiveness of healing is reduced by 25% for 5 seconds that's really nice if you're fighting against a healer which will be the case most of the time in arena so take this one um, however you will have to use your Felguard in combination with Sacrificial Pact and the stun of Felguard is also nice called Extos but you also might want to try out a different tactic and that's with Grimmer of Service uh, you can still use Sacrificial Pact of course you can choose whatever pet you want and for your second pet uh, you can also choose whatever you want and that is you know based on uh, what kind of opponent you um, you will see but I will cover that later on in the arena uh, for shizzle okay now use Grimmer of Supremacy it's just the best thing Manor of Sphere is a must. It will increase your area of effect and it will give you this stuff. Um, actually, this is what I use in Battleground that I can target it. But in Arena, you might want to um, get away. Don't use this glyph in Arena, but use something else. Um, but this is really handy in Rated Battleground or in Random Battleground, I think. So that lets you target your Hand of Gulan as well as your Chaos Wave. And your area of effect is increased by 500%, and that's really handy as you can imagine. 
So, glyphs. Demon training, because it increases your Felguard's health, which also increases your shield, of course. And the other things that it gives uh, you if you use a different pet is also good. Uh, Healthstone is a must-have, I'm not even going to explain that. You should know why. And Glyph of Imps is just... Um, yeah, also... <laughs> I also think I don't need an explanation for the minor glyphs. Glyph of Meteor, Fallen Meteor, it's really nice. If you play random battleground, also use Nightmare uh, instead of this one. But this is just very cool. Okay, what this does it lets you uh, your pet apply or equip two different weapons, and I think this is really really cool. I'm just a geek and I love the looks of my character. So that's the basic spec I use. Now, how to burst with the basic spec I use? Um, yeah, I will show it on this guy here. So I have a macro here, and you sh can also copy that from me. Uh, I will show you it, it to you. Macro. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, Uber. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Pet attack. So if I click this once, my pet will attack, and then it, you get a cast week sequence. And it, uh, to reset, you just switch target. Okay. Okay. It will apply corruption, curse of elements. One hand of Gudan, it will go into metamorphosis for you, apply a doom, do one touch of chaos so you get an imp, and then it will e exit metamorphosis, okay? So what I'm going to do now is just spamming one button, okay? What I also can do is apply corruption, and apply corruption, and apply corruption, and apply corruption, okay? That's really nice, but if I spam it, I will get this. So it will apply corruption, uh, curse of elements, one hand of Gudan, and I, I now have to target it. Um, and I now failed actually. And now it will apply Doom. And one charge of Handle put on. Okay, that's spamming one button. The, the difficulty is if you use this in combination, the spammable uh, call sequence in combination with the targeting, that when you click it, you have to target it at some point uh, in order to get the call sequence done. Okay, so that's maybe a bit more difficult, but anyways. Now I get an imp again. Okay, so I have now two imps. I'm getting uh, some demonic fury. I'm just gonna spam soul fire now. Uh, okay, so I now have shown you how to apply dots. Um, so now to burst. Well, you need your ref storm, of course. But first, let's stun a target or something like that. Uh, okay. So uh, you stun it. You use ref storm. You pop everything, that means your trinket, your imp swarm, um, your dark soul knowledge, and your blood fairy if you have it. Then you target the scales wave, and it hits big time, but it doesn't crit so you do, don't didn't see it uh, properly. Okay, then you just spam soul fire, but smoke maybe even more nice to spam a uh, touch of chaos, which will hit a lot if it crits. Um, actually, it doesn't show the crits, now it's... But it's much higher actually normally. Okay, so that's uh, like the most basic way to do burst. Just pop everything. I can also show you the macro I use for the burst, um, which is this one. Grimoire of Sacrifice is in it, but it's only when I use it and it won't affect the whole macro if you spec it something else. So I just leave it there. Cost and Ending Resolve. This is because you then won't be interrupted. Uh, where can I show you it? Yeah, here. The Warlock Hardens is skin reducing all damage, preventing his spells from being interrupted or silenced for 8 seconds. This is a nice thing to do in your burst. Blood Fury, Racial, Dark Soul Knowledge, uh, knowledge yeah, the Trinket, Imp Swarm, and Metamorphosis. Really simple, really basic, and that's basically your one shot macro. If you pop it, you will do a lot of damage. Yeah, is there anything more I need to explain? For the basic guide, I think this is just. Uh, okay, well, I should explain you maybe what to do in the meanwhile while, you, while all your things are on, on cooldown. So, you can spam your clickable, um, yeah, your, your applying dots. Uh, for the most time, you will also be spamming Fell Flame, not Shadow Bolt, Fell Flame. And that's because Fell Flame, although it costs a lot of mana, Fell Flame is an instant cast, only the global cooldown will affect your, uh, your cast time, you could say. And uh, it's just really nice. Whenever you get the proc, Molten Core, you just uh, go for the, the Soul Fire if you can cast it. Um, but like I said, most of the time you will just be kiting. 
and of course you will be applying dots like this and corruption and then just spamming foul flame when you have your cooldowns again you do wrath storm pop everything up uh, chaos wave just spam touch of chaos what like this and just one other time okay your dps will be pretty high i top dps most of the time i think if you're really good at playing Destro, then Destro is the way to go to be even, you know, more on top. Uh, but you can get on top with Demonology. You can. It's just more difficult than Destruction. Yeah. So, I guess that's it for the basic guide now. Um, if you want to know anything more for the basic stuff, then just let me know. And I will be covering some other stuff about arenas and rated battlegrounds just uh, later on.